Hello students, welcome to Tejas Education. Today's video is about fertilizer industry. You are going to learn how it works, where it is located, what is a fertilizer industry. If you have gone through the previous video on chemical industry in Tejas Education, you will know that chemical industry is the base of fertilizer industry because fertilizers are nothing but chemicals, ammonium nitrate, urea, etc. So we can also say that chemical industry is a base for fertilizer industry. Every industry needs a market to sell its product. So who buys the product of this particular industry, fertilizer industry? It is the agriculture. The agriculture sector has high demand for fertilizer. Farmers buy fertilizer. So this industry came into existence after Green Revolution. During Green Revolution, farmers used to use high variety yield seed fertilizers. Why did they do so? It is to improve the soil fertility production of crops. So the demand for fertilizer is always there in the primary sector. That is our agriculture. How does this industry function? The chemicals are processed, then they are sold in the market with the help of transport. As we know that it's easy to transport. Then the other bulky raw material of previous industries that we have learned, such as aluminium, iron and steel, the raw materials are bulky and heavy. Now let's learn where this industry, fertilizer industry, is located. Fertilizer industry is centered around the production of nitrogenous fertilizers, phosphatic fertilizers, and ammonium phosphate. This is very important in exam point of view. So this industry is located around the area where the production of fertilizer takes place. And complex fertilizers which have combination of nitrogen, phosphate and potash. So now we know that fertilizer industry is located around the area where production of nitrogen fertilizers, phosphatic fertilizers and ammonium phosphate and other complex fertilizers take place. Now in this potash is imported. Why do we import it? If we don't have it, we have to import it. So India does not have any reserve of potash. So where do we get it from? We get it from countries like Belarus, Canada. This also you can learn in MCQ point of view. India is the third largest producer of nitrogenous fertilizers. Nitrogenous, nitrogen based. Because plant absorb this nutrient the most. It helps the plant to grow healthy and nutritious while we consume them. There are 57 fertilizer units. Now let's learn about the fertilizer unit across our country. How many of them exist? 57 fertilizer unit manufacturing nitrogenous and complex nitrogenous fertilizers, 29 for urea, 9 for ammonium sulfate, 68 smaller units are producing single superphosphate. And there are 10 public sector, that is government sector, and one cooperative sector at Hazira in Gujarat under the Fertilizer Corporation of India. So Hazira is the place where natural gas pipeline is passing through. So natural gas is also very important for producing fertilizers. So if you want, you can say it acts as a raw material for the production of fertilizer. So industry is located in this particular area. Green Revolution helped in the expansion of this fertilizer industry. It expanded to Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Kerala, contribute towards half of the fertilizer production. Other significant producers are Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, Rajasthan, Bihar, Maharashtra, Assam, West Bengal, Goa, Delhi, Madhya Pradesh and Karnataka. Please learn Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Kerala very nicely. 
map question as well as MCQ point of view, it is important. We have to work hard to achieve success. Thanks for watching Tejas Education video. Please do consider subscribing, like and share. Wish and pray that the upcoming board exam will be very easy and you will all get excellent result. Thank you.